Marcus Ray. I'm Rachel. Today we are talking about friends. I can be your friend, la la la. I can be your friend, la la la. I don't have any friends, so today I looked up the definition of friendship on Wikipedia. Friendship is a relationship of mutual affection between two or more people. Friendship is a stronger form of interpersonal bond than association. Friendship has been studied in academic fields such as sociology, social psychology, anthropology, and philosophy. Okay, so you really don't have to have studied sociology, social psychology, anthropology, or philosophy to be blessed by the friendships that God has placed in our lives. And yeah, I'm a liar. I do have friends. And see, I feel like God often places people in our lives that are going to lead us to Him. Like, when we live in friendship with God, a lot of times He'll say to us, let me introduce you to another friend of mine. And then a friendship begins with that person, because we were both seeking holiness. Our main point that we want to talk about today is that holiness attracts holiness. We should have a really awkward, like, oh! As in, the kind of life that you're living, it's going to attract similar people. If you go to daily mass, you're going to meet and become friends with other people who go to daily mass. If you spend your time in any ministry, you're going to meet other people who serve with their lives. If you read G.K. Chesterton, you're going to connect with other Chesterton fans. And then these friends that you met, because you were chasing holiness, lead you closer to God. I can honestly say that many of my friends are holier than I am in different ways. So they challenge me to not be complacent in my life, but to keep growing. Once, when I was walking through a metro station in Washington, D.C., I saw an ad for a radio station. That's all completely unnecessary background information that's not necessary to the story. Anyway, there was a quote on this advertisement from a caller who said, I can honestly say that I'm the smartest one of my friends. And then the guy on the radio had answered him, well, then you need some new friends. This is a quote that stuck with me, and it really applies to everything good in life. I need friends that make me want to be a better person. If we want to be smarter, we need some friends who are smarter than we are, at least in some ways. And if we want to be holy, then we need friends who are holier than we are. My friends have lifted me up in many ways. They have also helped me grow in holiness by introducing me to their awesome friends, by giving me good books to read, good movie suggestions to watch, good music to listen to, and by asking me to pray with them. I often sit and think to myself, what a gem of a friend. It's no coincidence that saints often come in pairs or groups of friends. St. Francis and St. Clair. St. Teresa of Avila and St. John of the Cross. St. Rose of Lima and St. Martin de Porres. And one of the coolest stories, I think, is of St. Ignatius of Loyola. He had a couple roommates and none of them were really devout Catholics. Over time, though, those men became the first of the order that is now the Jesuits. And one of those men we now know is St. Francis Xavier. Holiness attracts holiness. Relationships always need to lead us closer to God. If we aren't finding that in our lives, though, it needs to start with us. Form a friendship with God first by reading good books, especially scripture, going to Mass and adoration, and by loving his mother Mary and praying the rosary. And get out there and serve other people. And then holiness attracts holiness, and God will lead you to people in your life that will lead you closer to him. That's a real friendship. Take that, Wikipedia. So this week, go to daily mass. Pray a rosary. Don't eat meat on Fridays. It's Lent, fools. And, and be holy. holy. Because holiness attracts holiness. Yeah. <laughs>